What's up guys, Viper FPV here, and today we have the DS202 oscilloscope. What's really neat about this oscilloscope is it's portable, and it has an internal battery where you can bring this on the road with you, you can bring it on uh, a trip, you can bring it in your backpack, pretty much pack it anywhere you want. Um, so I wanted to kind of just go over this and kind of show you what it does, and then I want to do some future videos showing you um, pretty much what we can test and how we can test them. Um, but I want to go ahead and just turn it on real quick and just kind of show you what it looks like. This is a full color display. And let's turn it on. And right there we got the oscilloscope. And let me go ahead and zoom in the camera so you can kind of see the little settings. Alright. So we have pretty much all the basic settings you would need with an oscilloscope. Um, you can pretty much measure a D-shot, you can measure um, pulses from the motors, uh, ESC pulses, all that type of stuff, the things that we do every day and have problems with. Um, so pretty much what we're going to be doing with this one is probably test motors, because I do want to have some bad motors on hand. I also have probably some bad ESCs as well. And also we'll probably play around with the flight controller too to show you what D-shot looks like under the oscilloscope. Um, but looking at all these little settings here, let me grab something to point out what we got here. So this is a two-channel oscilloscope and it does only come with one of these um, probes, but I have two of them so I can actually do two at the same time. So we have our channels right here and then we also have pretty much this is the time, this is pretty much how close you are looking and how far apart the graph will be. Um, and then we have our trigger too which you can actually, there's a little button up here you just stop it and it'll actually take a snapshot of what you're looking at so you can close in and look at what exactly you're looking at. And you can play with the settings and go through them all. It's actually really neat. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys um, what it looks like on a flight controller really quick just to kind of show you what this thing does. And then like I said in some future videos, I just wanted to kind of just give you a brief um, overview of this oscilloscope. Um, before I show you the what it looks like with the flight controller connected, um, these are the ports right here. If you can kind of make it out, I hope it's not blurry. And then we have, it does take a USB to charge it. And then we have the power button right there, and then the trigger button up there. But yeah, and it's all touch screen as well, right here. You can kind of go through it all. I guess it's not touch screen, I guess it's more like a touch pad here on the side. But it's really neat. So let's go ahead and get me get a flight controller and I'll show you guys what it looks like on the graph. Alright guys, so I am back and pretty much I'll show you what I have done here. I have a flight controller that I just have it connected by USB. And then I have the probe. I have the ground connected to like where the standoff will go. That's pretty much a ground pad like around it. And then I have my computer here with beta flight running up. So if I show you really quick here, now I have this no line right there and so if you want to test a flight controller or something like that to see if you actually you're getting an output from the flight controller and maybe your flight controller might be bad or you're suspecting it might be um, so pretty much what you do is just go ahead and check motor one right there and that's what uh, D shot looks like in beta flight on your flight controller when it's sending the signals to the ESCs now it's really cool if hopefully I can do this one hand so I'm going to go ahead and raise the motor, and you see how the lines are getting longer? So that's at 100%, and then that's at zero. So yeah, so this is a really neat tool to have when you're diagnosing problems with a multi-rotor. And this will work for motors, ESCs, anything that takes electronical pulse. I mean, you can check with a multimeter to see if you have voltage, um, but sometimes you need to see if actually it has a pulse or not coming to it, and what that pulse looks like. And what's a really handy feature of this one too, like I said, you have that trigger feature. So say if I don't want to hold that button down, I just hold that, and then we have a picture of what it looks like. And then we can go through all the motor outputs on the flight controller and it will show you pretty much what you're looking at. And so some future videos I'm going to kind of show you how to diagnose motors and also probably go over some ESCs as well. So I'm, I really hope this is a really great tool for my channel uh, to be able to show you guys how to 
fix things and how to diagnose things, especially if you get this inexpensive, I think it's like 60 bucks or 70 bucks, but if it saves you headaches, you know, hours of headaches trying to figure out what's wrong with your quad or buying parts that you probably should have been bought because something else was bad. Like a lot of times you buy ESC and it's really a motor and your motor, it's really your ESC. Um, your ESC. Um, but yeah, so I appreciate you guys watching. Um, if you have any questions for me, um, just leave it down in the comments. I will leave a link to this one or a real similar one down in the comments, uh, down in the description as well. Um, it will be an affiliate link, uh, but if you want to go ahead and support me, uh, it doesn't cost you more money to click on an affiliate link. It just costs the retailer money when they make the sale. They just, they just get less of the piece of the pie, if you say. Um, but like I said, I appreciate you guys watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. See you guys later. Peace.